So I've taken a cup, <laughs> nothing like using what you have around you. I've taken a cup and I've used a disappearing ink a marking pencil. You always want to test your marking things, but I happen to know this is uh, well, this one will work well for this project. I've marked a circle and I've also marked the center of my square and that's how I'm going to quote these circles. So let me grab my gloves and we'll get quilting again. I'm going to go ahead and stitch nicely right around that border. I'm kind of cheating with that circle just a tad so it lines up beautifully with my Lock. Keeping it nice and smooth. So there's that. And since I'm going to put those flowers in the border, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm locking my stitch, and I'm going to string over here, and I'm going to make one of those flowers. And I'm using the center marking just to help me position that center little motif here and I'm going to go for some nice big kind of wavy petals out here. I'm not going for too regular. I'm going to put some veins in the middle of them too. And once that marked line goes away, you'll be able to see that there's a beautiful little flower there. Kind of fun. So that's what I'm going to put in my stars. So now I'm just finalizing everything around the bird. You'll see that I've used a reduced stitch length on this to for the detail. When you have smaller detailed work, you have to use smaller stitches. So I'm going to go around the wings of this bird here and add a little detail with this white. I think it will look neat. that bird. I need to go around the edge of the head, it looks like too. Alright, 
All right, so we're in the final stretch and we're going to quilt the border. So, swirls first. Continue that around when I get to the corner, I will record a corner for you. Okay, here we go, the final corner.
sneak one more little flower in here. Here we go. Nice. 